Hi, I'm Lizzie Cundy here at the Royal Albert Hall for the Ray of Sunshine special concert for seriously ill children. And I'm going to be chatting to the Britain's Got Talent finalist, the Luminites. Come with me. Now, first, I've got to say huge congratulations for doing so well. Thank I mean, you. how amazing was it? What was the experience like being on Britain's Got Talent? It was amazing. I mean, we felt so lucky to even get where we got, and I don't know, it's crazy, isn't it? It was a tornado, like for us, doing the busking thing, starting out like on the streets of like Leicester Square, Carnaby Street, to go little by little and to end up in front of all those people and the four judges. I know. It was so weird. It, it was just but everyone wanted you guys to, everyone I spoke to, you are the raw new talent. I mean, how exciting is it? Oh, wow. Well, you know, there's a good feeling and then there's, oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. And I've got to ask, what were the judges like with you, Simon Cow? How was he? Well, whenever Simon Cow's talking to you, your heart's always fluttering like 100 times faster than it should be. You but really speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, see you later then. But, but yeah, it was. They, they were really nice, and especially to us, like they seem to be really supportive, which yeah. is always nice. And it is such a massive show. I mean, what were the nerves like on that final when you were through? I've never felt nerves like that. I mean, you're waiting to go on, and it's just like you think your voice isn't going to come out, and your hands are shaking, and you're like, all right, hold the mic, and your hands going like this. It's, yeah, it's not great, but we got through it, and it was amazing. And were the other contestants nice? I mean, was there any kind of, you know, because they, they we, you can row, like on Twitter, there's a bit of aggro sometimes, there isn't there? Any animosity, was there? No, no. Got we, yeah, we, um, we got on with everyone. I don't know about the others, but we did. <laughs> yeah. Everyone seems to be cool with us, like, we, we got on with everyone. So, who do you aspire to be like, and, and where do you hope to see yourselves in a year's time? Um, we are big fans of Black Eyed Peas and uh, we, you know, we aspire to eventually be something almost half as good as a quarter of what Black Eyed Peas are. <laughs> yeah, we're not that good. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah, so we're kind of like um, a Black Eyed Peas with a little bit of maybe Ed Sheeran and like dubstep beatboxing from Ben and but so yeah, it. like a, a British Black Eyed Peas, as Simon said, would be uh, an overstatement. But in a year's time, we'd love to just be performing and doing things like this for charities and stuff. It'd be amazing. That'd be so. And it is a fantastic charity that we're doing, isn't it? Raise the sunshine. We've met some of the kids, and they're like they're just little gems. They're so nice. They, they like we have a chat with them, and we just really feel privileged to be here because it's a really big cause and a great event. And, and you're with JLS and some big names we here today. We can't believe the lineup. We were like, surely not. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's not us. Like, it's amazing. We feel privileged to perform with them. I think they're privileged to be with you guys. You're the biggest thing, and you're going to do so well. Really well done, guys. Thank you.